This is a positive, not a negative. This is a positive, not a negative. A smile. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. I've only recorded this video twice before and published it and edited it and done all the things to it. But why not record it a third time because you guys are amazing and come up with even better solutions every time I seem to publish this one specific tutorial. Columns and margins in Illustrator. Guess what? This video is the best way. You can't convince me otherwise. I realized twice before you've convinced me, but this time it's for real. Let me show you how. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. So we've got Illustrator opened up and we're gonna create a new document. The reason I'm doing this, and this one's gonna be 3.5 by two inches. This is a business card size in America anyway. I'm using inches, you can use whatever units you want. I made a bleed here of 1 eighth inch or 0.125. Now I just wanted to show you that you can make a bleed while we create this new document. That's pretty much the only reason I'm showing you that part. So the bleed is the red line around the outside of our artboard. Now, if we wanna make a margin, I'm gonna create a shape out here. Just double click anywhere on your artboard and we're gonna make it the size of our artboard, 3.5 by two. Perfect, now this little guy here, let's zoom out a little more. I need some more space. Okay, so we got this little guy here. We can go up to edit, actually object down to path and then for a margin, we're gonna do offset path. Now, whatever you want your margin to be, enter it into this dialog box with a negative sign in front of it because we want it to go inside, not outside. So we're offsetting a path by, let's say my margin is 1 8 inch, 0.125. It's gonna be negative 0.125. The miters don't really matter. Preview it, I can see that it's gonna be boom, right there, perfect, okay. Now we have another shape and this shape is actually our margin. How easy is that? So I deleted the bigger shape. We're gonna take this margin shape and actually use it for columns. So I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Option or Alt on Windows. And now with this guy, what we can do is align him, make sure he's aligning to the artboard, to the center. And there's a nifty feature with guides. We're gonna be you know, using guides and such. Down here in the guides section, it's called Make Guides. You can make any shape a guide. Also notice lock guides and show and hide guides. They have shortcut keys as well. I'll tell you them here in a second, but make guides is command five or control five on Windows. So look at that. We already have a margin because we have the offset path. Perfect, that works really well. Now the column side is where it gets even cooler. All right, but this guide, I'm gonna go ahead and lock him in place. That is option command um, semicolon or it's alt control semicolon on PC. Might wanna remember that one, same shortcut key to show. Now, with this shape here, we're actually gonna make columns. And first, I'm gonna go ahead and center that as well on my artboard. By the way, if you're not seeing any of these panels on the left hand or right hand side, go up to window, down to whatever panel you want to select. So align is up there, the properties panel's down there. You know, whatever you're missing, just go there, you'll find them. All right, so the columns here, we're gonna go back to object down to pass and then down to split into grid and look at this you guys look at this we can check preview look we have columns on the right side i want my rows to be one i don't actually want any rows with this one but my columns we can select the number of columns if i want four if i want three if i want whatever we can select the gutter size so i'm going to just type that in there and look what's happening on our artboard it's creating the columns for us. So we hit okay and we have all these columns out here. We can do the same shortcut key command or control five. And we have our margins and columns all set up. Now the one thing to keep this editable or keep it with another artboard is go ahead and save. We didn't do it here, but keep a copy of the margin rectangle somewhere on your artboard and you can just go back in and create margins or columns on your other artboards as well. Super simple, super quick. You can actually enter in columns and gutter. You can enter in the amount of margin you want. This is the best way. Can't convince me otherwise. And of course I told you I'd tell you the other shortcut keys as well. Once you're working on your document, if you wanna show and hide these, uh, no, not grids, guides, command semicolon or control semicolon to show and hide if you're on a PC. That's it. That's the super simple way of creating columns and margins 
in your documents. Sincerely hope this is the last time I publish this tutorial. Thank you to the community for always keeping me on my toes and making sure there's other features in Illustrator or any of the programs that work even better for what we're trying to do. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. I'll see you next time. I become a changer.